Hello. I'm back to do another review of a new 2014 EP by a super group by the name of CNVAR, who uh, have just released their self-titled debut EP. Um, they're a super group, super group from with members from bands like Stolas, Dance Gavin Dance, a lot like Birds, and they come together and make this really interesting mix of like Circa Survive and The Fall of Troy and all those bands that I just talked about mixed together. And yeah, and it's a very cool, uh, interesting new EP. Um, and I'm going to review it, so here we go. The first track is called Chest Pressure, which begins the album on a really beautiful note. Like, you hear all these beautiful vocal harmonies in the background of the, you know, lead vocals. Um, the instrumentation is just, it introduces you right away to what you're, you should expect for the rest of the um, EP. Uh, I know the guy from Dance Game and Dance, something Swan, I feel like it's Wheel or something, I, I can't even remember, I feel so stupid. But that guy is an awesome guitarist, he's insane. The vocalist at times can be a little bit like high pitched and annoying, and I don't really like most vocals like that. But a lot of the times here, it really works, and it really you know keeps me interested. There's times where it's like really, it just makes me cringe. But there's times where I'm just like, wow, that's that sounds good. Like it sounds like you know the soaring vocals in Circus Survive from Anthony Green, and like you know it's just it's just awesome. Um, but chest pressure definitely begins the EP on a really good note. Uh, it's kind of an awkward intro to the whole EP because I feel like the song is more of like a middle song, like a kind of you find it in the middle of the EP, but it's definitely still a great song, still a good intro, and definitely gets you ready for the rest of the EP. Uh, going into the next song, Sick Machine, which is just, that's even more of an introduction, like even though it's the second song, it just shows you the more heavy and crazy side of them. Uh, it begins the freaking track off with like this awesome snare and this it's just insane and uh the guy's straining vocals are just nuts in the background and uh this one's definitely like a fault like you can hear the fall of troy a lot in this song and it's definitely all over the place definitely a very interesting song and it gets really beautiful in the middle of it uh has really awesome picking has really beautiful vocals soaring vocals like anthony green like i say or said earlier um, this is a really good song, one of my favorites. And the next song, which is my favorite, Your Tongue Ties, third track of the EP, definitely the most controlled, most beautiful uh, vocal-wise, even though some of it's kind of awkward, like I said. Uh, it's definitely the most just controlled, the most the best structured, even though this is a super group, kind of has to go all over the place. Um, but this one definitely, this band definitely knows how to take it, what a super group is and make it, you know, like, very natural. I feel like this... EP is definitely like a it's a new it's a new type of you know uh, sound for like a super group and that def it's definitely shown on every track on this uh, EP even though people are disappointed with it I really like it uh, and your tongue ties is definitely my favorite song it's very it's like the first song that really got me into this band even though the first song I heard was the next one which is virtual vein the craziest song on the record it begins er, on the EP begins the whole song with this just crazy Ugh, these crazy leads, these crazy vocals, it's just an insane song overall. And the last song is definitely a gentle, you know, gentle note to the uh, to the EP, Substance Sequence. It's definitely a really good song, one of my favorites, even though, once again, the vocals are awkward. But I think this album, I like it more mostly for the instrumentals. The, the music is definitely a big standout moment, or <laughs> moment, ugh, uh, I can't even talk today, but it's def okay, the music is definitely a really good part for this whole EP, it's definitely a very good quality, the vocals mix with the music well at times, but I feel like that's just one of the problems I have with this record, this EP is just, the vocals are really weird sometimes, and I just can't get into it a lot, but most of the time, like in songs like Your Tongue Ties, Sick Machine, Chest Pressure, those are songs that really, um, Mostly chest pressure, I feel. Uh, that's like the most one that really just doesn't really make me cringe most of the time. But uh, definitely, while the, while the vocals are still really hard to get into for a lot of people, it takes a really acquired taste. I definitely feel like this band is really good. It's a really good start to what their, you know, their future. Uh, and I definitely want to hear what they do in the future. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, EPs so far with uh, Kadinja, the upcoming The Lone Tree in the Woods That Killed Us All, 
Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite EPs of this year so far. Uh, and there's a lot more to go, so it's just going to get better from here. But definitely check out this band. Definitely check out their new EP. Uh, definitely check out all the bands that you know mix together to do this project. Check out The Fall of Troy, Circus Survive, and if you like those bands, definitely check this band out. They're really worth your time. Might be a little hard to get into at first, but it's definitely worth your time. Check out this band. Check out the CP. Get excited for the future because I bet they'll have really good stuff coming out later. Uh, but thank you for watching, and yeah, two reviews of 2014 down.